Hello again, this is Erica, and here is another video on Zoom 101 skills. And this one is talking about scheduling a meeting, sharing your screen, and the waiting room feature. Here's how to schedule a Zoom meeting. Using Zoom on a desktop or laptop, click on Schedule, enter meeting details. At the bottom of that window, click on Copy Invitation. Then you can email or message the copied Zoom meeting information to the participants. Using the Zoom app to schedule a meeting, from the home page, look for the schedule icon across the top. Click on schedule, enter meeting details, then tap done. For example, on an iPhone here, the iOS app shows schedule meeting. Under that, it shows Erica's meeting. Then it shows the starting time, so today at 7 p.m. Duration is 30 minutes, time zone, then the repeat, whether it's going to be a repeating meeting or not. Then the calendar, I have here iCalendar selected. And then just under there, you'll see use personal meeting ID. It's toggled off for now, but it says if this option is enabled, any meeting options that you change here will be applied to all meetings that use your personal meeting ID. So any changes you make here, if you go on your laptop or desktop, and it has that same personal ID number, of course, all of those settings will default to that as well. Next, you'll see required meeting password, and that's toggled on, so it shows you the password. You have several options. You can make your custom password, or you can have each meeting generate a new password. Now looking at host options, you have the choices, host video on, participant video on, audio option, which is telephone and device audio. So either they can call through a uh, landline or a regular telephone or through uh, the device. So if you're using an iPad, iPhone, computer, etc. And then lastly, you have enable waiting room. And then clicking on advanced options, you have some more choices. Here you can allow the participants to join the meeting before the host. Here you can also allow join meeting for everyone or only for authenticated guests. And then they also have the option for automatically recording the meeting. When you're ready to host the meeting, look for the meetings icon at the bottom of the home screen. Tap on meetings. You'll see all of your scheduled meetings. Tap on the meeting of your choice. And when a new window pops up, tap on start. Using a desktop or a laptop and you're ready to host the meeting, first go back to the Zoom home screen and look for the meetings tab across the top. Then you click on the meeting title on the left side of the screen to highlight it. Then you can press start to begin the meeting. How to share your screen on Zoom. During a live Zoom meeting on a desktop or laptop, Look at the bottom portion of the Zoom window and look for the share screen icon. When you click on the icon, a window will pop up with options to share your desktop, open browser windows, a whiteboard, that's for sharing live drawings, etc., a mobile device via the screen mirroring, for example, iOS to iOS, or to share your screen from a mobile device via a USB cord. Here you will select your share method and your desktop screen will be shared live for all participants on Zoom. Back on the main Zoom stream window, there's a small arrow pointing up on the right side of the share screen icon. When you click on that arrow, there will be options to set screen sharing rights for only one person, the host, or for multiple people. Sharing your screen on a mobile device. During a live Zoom meeting, you will see icons at the bottom of the screen. The middle icon should say share content on iOS. Once you tap on share content, a pop-up panel will show several sharing options, including screen. Tap on screen. Another pop-up will show options for broadcasting. It will say screen broadcast and will give you several app choices to broadcast. Choose the Zoom app then tap on Start Broadcast. At this time, you can visit the home screen or other apps on your device and share with the Zoom participants live. To stop sharing your screen, tap on the red bar at the top of the device and a pop-up box will give you the option to stop the broadcast.
In the upcoming video example, I'm going to show you how to share your screen from a mobile device as well as from a laptop. For this particular example, I'm using an iPhone and a MacBook, but I'm sure the instructions are similar for other devices. So from the Zoom app on the iPhone, at the bottom you'll see share content. So across the bottom you'll see icons. There's a box with an arrow pointing up called share content. Tap on that first. Next you'll see a screen pop up and it has several options. In this instance I'm going to tap on screen. So I'm sharing my screen from my iPhone to the actual desktop or laptop. Then you'll be given several options of what to broadcast. In this instance I'm broadcasting from the Zoom app. Then all you have to do is start broadcast and the broadcast will be shared on your actual Zoom app, which will also be shared with the group that's on your Zoom live. Now looking back on the laptop side, you will have to install a plugin, but it only takes up to like 15 or 10 seconds to download, so that's not a big deal. And then after that, on your iPhone or iPad, you connect to the same Wi-Fi, you tap screen mirroring, and then you choose whatever Zoom that is uh, casting or you want to cast to, which in this instance was my Swarthy Daisy one. Now let's take a look at how to share your screen on a desktop or laptop. Using the Zoom app on a laptop, I'm using again a MacBook for this, but at the bottom you'll see several icons there's one for share screen. If you click on share screen, you'll have options for sharing different parts of your computer screen that's open. So if you have a web browser open, a game open, etc., those are the things that will be choices for sharing. So the next screen you'll see is the basic choice screen. So you'll have options for the different screens that are open. Uh, you can share your desktop or you can share a whiteboard. You can share an iPhone or iPad via AirPlay or you can share the iPhone, iPad via cable. And as mentioned earlier, if you have a Chrome browser, etc. open, you can also share those things and they'll pop up as options. But at the very bottom of this menu panel, you'll see share computer sound so if you want to play a video or have the sound from the game to uh, be audible for your listeners you can click on that and then you also have the option for optimize screen share for video clip for even more control if you choose the advanced sharing options you'll see the menu that says how many participants can share at the same time so as you see, it's one participant can share at a time is an option, or you can choose multiple participants can share simultaneously. So with that, you will need dual monitors and that's recommended for that feature. Next, you'll see who can actually share. So you can either have only the host, which would be you in this instance, or all participants can share. And then lastly, who can start sharing when someone else is sharing? Either only the host or all participants can be an option. Waiting room settings. First sign into your account in the Zoom web portal and access the settings tab. Click on the in meeting advance option. Search or scroll to find the waiting room option. Toggle the button next to the waiting room to enable this feature. After enabling the waiting room feature, you can choose to send all participants to the waiting room when they join or to send only guest participants, which are external accounts, to the waiting room. You can also allow other internal participants to admit guests from the waiting room if the host is not yet in the meeting. Using the waiting room feature during a Zoom meeting on Zoom desktop. In a live Zoom meeting, look at the icons at the bottom of the Zoom window. Click on the participants icon. Across the bottom of the pop-up window, click on more. Select enable waiting room. Waiting room feature using a mobile device prior to a live Zoom meeting. From the home screen, look across the bottom and tap on the meetings icon. At the top of the screen under your personal meeting ID, you will see an edit button. 
Tap on Edit. Scroll down to Enable Waiting Room and toggle it on. During live Zoom sessions on both desktop and mobile, guest names will pop up for you to click Accept and allow them to enter into the room. So that's it for this video. Today we learned how to schedule a Zoom meeting, how to use the share screen feature, as well as how to use the waiting room feature. If you all have any additional comments or questions, make sure to leave a comment below. Once again, this is Erica. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.